My name is Ben Kui, and I directed Fuluwa, written by Ifuan Sutherland. This is the first play of the playwright Ifuan Sutherland. It was published in 1967. You know, any time we hear of Sutherland's plays, those that easily come to mind are Marriage of Anasua and Idufa. But this is a period where we are celebrating the playwrights, her centenary celebration. And we are of the view that such a period, all the forgotten plays, her forgotten plays, must also be brought to the fore. Fuluwa is about a young lady who decided to visit her mother, the Queen Mother of Chirefaso. No, Chirefaso is a town where development is lacking. Everybody sits on the fence and expects someone from somewhere to come and develop the community for them. So when Fuluwa noticed the ruggedness of the community, she decided to stay and help the um, people in the community to bring developments. In spite of all the uh, many opportunities waiting for her in the city to better herself. So this is about Furiwa. And what Furiwa is teaching us is that we shouldn't all sit on the fence and expect someone from somewhere to come and develop the community for us. We should all put our shoulders to the wheel and with the support of those in authority, we will be able to make it. And again, Furiwa decided to stay. Furiwa could have gone back to the city where she came from to better her life, but she decided to stay. Now this is telling us that we shouldn't be in a hurry to run out of the country to seek for greener pastures. When we all leave, who will develop our nation for us? We all have to stay. Everybody must contribute. Those in authority must also create the congenial atmosphere for us to also bring development to our nation. So I am urging you all, come, come in your numbers and see for you. It's a beautiful play, it's an interesting play. The play is showing on Friday, 27th September, twice. The first one is 5 p.m. and the second one is 8 p.m. All right, so we're still on uh, Fuluwa and this is Beb TV. Uh, we have one cast here who will be sharing with us the role she's playing. Okay, so you can go ahead. Yes, I'm playing the role of the Queen Mother of Trefaso. Um, this is the Queen Mother who is so much interested in the development of the people of Trefaso. What I like about Fuluwa is that um, it's one play by Ifwa Sadala, not really know about. Every time it's an Anansawa and Ibufa, an Anansawa and Ibufa. But there's a lot to learn in Furua or about Furua. So I'm so glad I'm in Furua. Oh, all right. Well, what, what, what should uh, audience, the audience expect when they, when they get here? On the 27th September 2024. Nothing but a superfluous performance. All right, yes. thank you so much. Nice meeting you on Bev TV. Mr. John, hey, <laughs> we love you. Welcome to Bev TV. Thank okay, you. Okay, so kindly tell us about yourself and quickly uh, the role you play in Fuluwa. All right, my name is John Paul Esiedu, and I'm um, a member of Ebi Bigroma Theatre Company, the resident theatre of the School of Performing Arts, University of Ghana, Lagos. And we, we are involved in the centenary celebration, the uh, Ghana Theatre Festival, celebrating our legend, Ifwa Theodora Sutherland. Yes. All right, so tell us about your role. Ah, uh, hmm. I like to keep audience in suspense, you know. Come, come and watch the play. All right, so come give us the date, them. give us the date, the day, the time and everything. I mean, all right, the, the play is, is going 27th of um, September. 2024, two shows, one in the uh, around 5 p.m. and the other one 8 p.m. Uh, on Friday, yes, this Friday. This very Friday. This very Friday. Yes. All right. <laughs> what should what should they expect? Uh, nothing but an excellent performance. You know, Sutherland is a legend, and we are all excited. We want to honor her in the best way we can. So. 
uh, our cast and crew are one of the best you can find in this country today. All right, so for those of you watching Burp TV, all you need to do is just be here at the National Theater, uh, come to the 7th September 2024, and have a look at Foriwa, a spectacular theater performed by Ebibigoma Legon. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful evening. You're welcome. Okay. Ghana presents Ghana Theatre Festival 2024 in honor of Ifwa T. Sutherland Centenary Celebration. And these are the productions lined up Agro, Foriwa, Marriage of Anansawa, and Edufa. All plays written by the late Ifwa T. Sutherland. And Agro is directed by Elizabeth Ifwa Sutherland, uh, presented by Terra Alta Foundation and it's coming off 25th of September 2024. And Foriwa, directed by Benjamin Anumkoye, will be presented by a Bibigroma resident theatre company at the University of Ghana School of Performing Arts. And it's coming off 27th September 2024, 5pm and then 8pm. There will be two shows. 
and on the 28th of September 2024, the marriage of Anansawa will be staged by Ebe Brigroma, the resident theatre company at the National Theatre of Ghana. You need to be there to watch these plays, okay? Never miss it. 28th of September 2024, 4pm and then 8pm. You need to be there. And this, I repeat, will be performed by a Bibi Roma Theatre Company, a resident theatre company at the National Theatre of Ghana. And on the 29th of September 2024, a play called Edufa, also written by Ifwati Sutherland, directed by Fifi Coleman, uh, will be staged at the National Theatre of Ghana in honor of FOT Sutherland and you need to be there. There will be two shows at 4 p.m. and then 8 p.m. Never miss it. Never, never miss any of these plays. And also an amazing event that will be happening at the National Theatre is Film Craft Expo 2024 in honor of FOT uh, Sutherland. 27, 28 and 29th and time from 9 p.m to 8 p.m each day um, i repeat uh, film craft expo 2024 is happening live from 27th to 29th of september 2024 in honor of f40 sutherland and the time is from 9 a.m to 8 p.m each day all filmmakers and show business um, activists please be there and uh, get connected um, anyway, for those of you live, you watching Web TV, the name goes Benjamin Party. Um, I'm inviting you all to be at the National Theatre on these dates. <laughs> Your name may be Alice, but that gives you no right to throw contrary wise away. Huh? That does not hurt his feelings, little miss. Contrary wise is not his pet word. He likes it very much. Everybody has a pet word. What is yours? Tell me now, Miss Alice. Uh, uh, oh gosh, I, I can't remember. It's <laughs> very likely to be gosh, don't you think? <laughs> oh, gosh, gosh, is that? Oh, please, please, do stop. I, I, I do hope you will stop. 
stop crying. <laughs> Would you like my handkerchief to dry your tears? Oh. She quickly emptied her bowl, 
She sees her gift of coconut from her mom's hand. Sucking thirstily, she drained it all dry. Ha! <laughs> Such a pretty child. Oh, poor thing. I'll give her my nice board rattle to play with. Later that day, everyone in Brimpo's home was feeling happier to see the little girl looking brighter and brighter. There she was, walking around, humming softly to herself while she played with a beaded board. The board rattled. Suddenly, a loud voice boomed through the courtyard. Hey, everyone! Father! <laughs> oh, mother! Oh, and my sisters! <laughs> my brother! Oh. May God protect you all! In walked a fool, another of Bimpong's sons. The villagers called him a fool, the fool, and they were fond of him. A happy afternoon to you all. The sun has a broad smile on his face. The wood hen has hatched a happy brood. The squirrels are frolicking in the elephant grass. And the gnomes, they clap their hands with glee. Jumper, 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 jumper. This is your fool. How can anyone understand these things you say? You see, when a fool was a child, he had talked in riddles. He would roam for hours alone in the forest, people into tangled tree shadows, whispering to the birds and listening to the animals. When he returned to the village, he talked about these things. But nobody, neither his family nor the other villagers, could understand him. And from the fool, they had teased and walked. And so one day, Afrum had left the village. He wandered far away and built himself a cottage where he could live alone. From time to time, he returned to visit his father, mother, brothers, and sisters. But he would never tell anyone where he lived. Today, when his mother called him the fool, Afrum took no notice at all. His eyes were fixed on the little girl. She stood allegedly still watching him fearfully. I say, and who did this one be? Oh, I found her in the forest this morning. And she had lost her way, I think. But I cannot find out anything about her because she will not talk. Is that a story? Well, well. As for me, father, I will take myself to my home. With things that swing on a reaper rope, the fool may yet to be wise, you know. They deck their hair with orchids while smiling at their faces. Pretty faces, water of ponds where lilies float are the brightest light of moonlight. Goodbye. 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 Ah, ah, come and sit here and think. I'm off to report your case to the chief and his eh? okay. But the little girl was staring at the courtyard gate and following her gaze, Rimpo saw his friends returning. With them were the chief, his counselors, his court messengers, and everybody. I leave the group in prison and put a stranger child into your home. Welcome to you, Benham, and to your eldest. Yes, she 